Hello, good afternoon once again my dear Matayong 4 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so again, uh, last time uh, we discussed about the different construction for the line arrangement. Okay, speci uh, specifically about the letters. So we arrange the letters uh, by different arrangement. Like the, one of the instruction is uh, the two letters, or yes, two letters like vowels or consonant will be together. Okay, or there would be like uh, letters, the same letters in that word, and you're going to divide that by the number of uh, factorial. And if uh, they will be together, then you will multiply that to factorial. Okay, so that is about the line arrangement. So it's about the permutation. Now this one is circular arrangement. We continue with the uh, the other side of the permutation, which is circular arrangement, meaning to say that. Uh, you are sitting around a round table, okay, or you are sitting uh, in any round object, okay. So we have here the number of ways to arrange and distinct object along a fixed uh, circle. So meaning to say, fixed circles, a perfect circle, or not even a perfect circle, as long as it's connected, okay. That you cannot be picked up out of the plane and turned over you cannot move meaning to say that there would be one uh, object that cannot move and turn over to the other side nah? so there would be for for the circular arrangement since that it is continuous it's a circle so there would be one object that will not move because if all the object will not move then there's no changing then you cannot count the number of ways but if there would be one uh, object that will be positioned, not in rest position, so all the other object will only move. So from that, you can count how many ways that they can sit and move and have a different arrangement together. Okay? So we have here the formula, the permutation of the object, where in the object we use all the object is equal, usually we are using n factorial for permutation right but since that this is circular arrangement then one object will not move so that is why n minus one factorial only the uh, the other like for example if there are the value of n is five then the four uh, uh, object will only move not one object will not move okay so similar to this one to our permutation we have n minus one so the n and the r value are just the same. This will be zero factorial or one factorial. Nah? Now, we have an example. This one, look at this. So this is a round object. Now there are three uh, objects. Uh, round table, you have three objects. Okay? So in how many ways that they can sit, to get, sit around the round, the round table? So one here will not move. Only three and two or two and three will move. Nah? So one will position, sit position, and the other two will only move. If one will move, then you cannot count the number of arrangement. Okay? So there will be one object that will position, will not move. And so you, you can count the number of ways that they can sit around. Nah? So we have here examples similar to that one. And we have one more, one more. Like this, if there would be four around the table, you will have six ways that they can sit together, that they can sit around, different seat around. You will see that one did not move. One is in position. So that object will just stay. Only three, two, three, and four will move. You see this? Only them will move. So you will have different arrangement. But if you will try to move one, then you will have similar arrangement to the previous one. Na? So we have here the application, examples for this. In how many ways the three students can sit in a three seaters round table? So similar to what we have, we have two. Okay. So but the solution we have here, uh, three object. So n minus one factorial, that's the formula for a circular arrangement. Three minus one factorial or two factorial. Or two ways. Na? Okay, my. Next. 
This one, we have find a number of ways that can 10 people set in a 10-seaters carousel. This is carousel. So, like a merry-go-round. Okay? Merry-go-round. So, I hope that uh, you write this already when you were young. Na? So, the, uh, the object here in is 10. Okay? Using the formula. Now, this one is no restriction. Just only that they can sit around. So, there, e n is equal to n minus 1 factorial of this always with minus 1. So we have n as 10. 10 minus 1 is 9 factorial. And we expand 9 factorial to be like this. And that would be equal to 362,820 ways. That the 10 people can sit around the carousel. Not? Okay, my Next. This one here. We have three questions. Find the number of ways in which 5 people, A, B, C, D, E, can be seated at a round table such that first no restriction b a and b must always sit together c c and d must not sit together okay so we have here different questions now we go to the first question for uh, a no restriction so for example this is the round table okay we have five seats as uh, uh, people a b c d e will sit here around okay now again there would be one, one person that will position, will not move. Na? So if we have five, we say minus one. So for solution letter A, we have here the formula again for the circular permutation. So we change N as to be five. Five minus one is four factorial. Then we expand that, we have 24 ways that they can sit around this five-seater round table. Na? Question B, A and B must always sit together. So this question is similar to what we have in line arrangement. So if you still remember about next, last week, that if there would be two letters that will uh, be together, then you will multiply that by two factorial. Shamay? But if there would be similar le letters, same letters, you will divide that to the number of factorial. Shamay? So for this one, the same. If there would be uh, two seats that will be together, na, they will sit together, okay? Now, the same way we will multiply that to how many people who want to sit together. Like for this question B, there are only two people. So from this, two people, they will sit together, okay? So we will multiply that by two factorial. But, but, from five people, check my... So, from 5, from here is 5, Shemai. But this, this two person will, will sit together, Shemai. How many? How many sit, uh, will be left? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, the number of n would be 4, not 5 anymore. Only 4, because 1, 2, 3, 4. This one, this will, they will go as one seat, only one seat, because they will be together. Na? So, for uh, question B, right here, you see, 4 minus 1, because there are 4 uh, anymore. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one is one seat only. But we multiply by 2, this one, we multiply that by 2, because this can position salap, they can salap na. Like this, or like this, salap, they can salap. In two ways. So, we simplify 4 minus 1 is 3 factorial, times 2 factorial, that is 3 factorial. Okay, so we have read the picture for that, this one. Now you will see that A and B will not move. They will station, they will be positioned. So you see, B, A and A, B. B, A and A, B. You have two ways that you can uh, move A, B, cut B, A. Na? And only the three others, this one, uh, C, D, E will move. C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E only will move. That's why we have here. 3 factorial. Na? Question. Now, let us see we have here that uh, C and D must not sit together. Okay? They will not, they cannot sit together. Now, remember that in question B, they can sit together. Shemai, they can sit together. In question A, any, any letters can sit together for A because no restriction. A, B can sit together. B, C, C, D, D, E, A, E can sit together. 
mix, mix, as mix. Na? Mix all together because no restriction. It's everything. Okay? But question B, only A and B will sit together. Only A and B will sit together. Na? Will sit together. But the other letters like uh, C, D, E, they cannot sit together. Only A, B will sit together. Na? Now, here in question letter C, they will not sit together. So, from the first one, that is a big group, because they can sit together, any letters, then the next one is only A and B can sit together, only na, meaning to say that C and D cannot sit together, C and E cannot sit together, A and C cannot sit together, na, they cannot sit together, only A and B, so this will be lesser. So, for question letter C, we will subtract the bigger part minus the together that they will sit together just like this one look this one here is the bigger part so this this part here they can sit any person they can sit any person a can sit with b a can sit with c a can sit with d a can sit with e like that they can sit like that because this is everybody but we subtract that with 4 minus 1 because a and B, for this one, this part here, this is sit together, shamay, similar to question B. You look at question B. You see this one? 4 minus 1 factorial, 2 factor, because this one is sit together. Sit together. So for this one, this one sit together. For this is sit together for C and D. This is sit together for uh, C and D. So this is the big one, shamay. Now we subtract that to the sit together, what would be left? Not sit together. Say my not sit together. For we subtract the sit together to the mix. So what would be left is not sit together with C and B. Na? So we simplify that. We got 12 ways. Okay? Did you understand my? I hope so you understand na. But I will give you more example about this na. Don't worry. So uh, we have here our activity. So you have three uh, numbers here. For the first one, first student like to sit in a four-seater round sofa. In how many ways they can sit? So no restriction. They can sit all together. Na? They can sit anywhere. G number two, given a seven-seater merry-go-round ride in a carnival. In how many ways the two kids cannot ride beside each other? Okay? So two kids will not ride, sit beside. May die. Na? And number three is John and his girlfriend like to sit together. And a five seaters round table in how many ways that they can sit together so they can sit john and his girlfriend can sit together na so again for number one no restriction for number two not sit together and number three sit together okay so i hope that you understand all the examples that i give you and hopefully that you can answer also these three questions here and i will be waiting for the answer um uh, you submit your answers before 5 o'clock. Okay? 5 p.m. today. Na? So that's all for today for circular arrangement and permutation. And we we'll see you again next time. Bye. -bye.